as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming, with Sister Tanya Nugis. Maranatha, page 118, God's call to reform, April 20th. He shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord, Luke 1, 17. John the Baptist went forth in the spirit and power of Elijah to prepare the way of the Lord and to turn the people to the wisdom of the just. He was a representative of those living in these last days to whom God has entrusted sacred truths to present before the people to prepare the way for the second appearing of Christ. Those who are to prepare the way for the second coming of Christ are represented by faithful Elijah, as John came in the spirit of Elijah to prepare the way for Christ's first advent. The great subject of reform is to be agitated and the public mind is to be stirred. Temperance in all things is to be connected with the message, to turn the people of God from their idolatry, their gluttony, and their extravagance in dress and other things. The self-denial, humility, and temperance required of the righteous, whom God especially leads and blesses, is to be presented to the people in contrast to the extravagant health-destroying habits of those who live in this degenerate age. God has shown that health reform is as closely connected with the third angel's message as the hand is with the body. There is nowhere to be found so great a cause of physical and moral degeneracy as a neglect of this important subject. Those who indulge appetite and passion and close their eyes to the light for fear they will see sinful indulgences, which they are unwilling to forsake, are guilty before God. Providence has been leading the people of God out from the extravagant habits of the world, away from the indulgence of appetite and passion, to take their stand upon the platform of self-denial and temperance in all things. The people whom God is leading will be peculiar. They will not be like the world. But, if they follow the leading of God, they will accomplish His purpose and will yield their will to His will. Christ will dwell in the heart. Your body, says the Apostle, is the temple of the Holy Ghost. This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Get ready, get ready, get ready.